What's going on guys? Drew of Profit Monsters here. I am at the storage unit and uh, yesterday and this morning I had some interesting sales. Uh, so I just wanted to share them with you. It's been a while since I've kind of made a little bit of a what sold video and showing you guys actually as I'm pulling them. So I figured I would do that, bring you guys along with me, show you the prices that I sold them for and uh, how I'm going to ship them out. because Some of them are going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. All right, first up is this bin of Disney Plush right here. I picked up this whole thing at Goodwill for 10 bucks, and I've been slowly selling each of these for about $10 to $15 uh, each. And I sold, let's see if I can find it in here, this one, Maleficent. Uh, they all were brand new with the tags, and I sold this one. You can see it had a $6 price tag on it, but I sold it for $12.50 with free shipping. Almost all of these I sold free shipping because they weigh like nothing. They cost me about $3.31 to ship, um, but I've still got over half of them and I've been selling them for, like I said, $10 to $15. So a great little pickup there. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know what's going on with these. I um, sold these Tiva sandals right here and in the light, they look different colors. It's really crazy. Like they kind of look purplish, like a mauve tan color i don't know um they've got like a slight purplish hint to them anyway i sold them on ebay for 50 dollars free shipping and then the buyer returned them because she thought they were blue uh even though the description said slight purple the pictures make it very very hard to tell i guess and i did a poll and people said a lot of people said they were blue so anyway here they are i sold another pair of them or i sold the same pair on mercari for 52 dollars free shipping so I made sure the description was accurate and hopefully those do not get returned. Sticking with the shoes, these are all shoes that I got on consignment from a friend of mine um, who had uh, some brand new shoes that had never been worn. And these are called G Defies. I've never heard of them, uh, but they are like um, orthopedic walking shoes or something. It has like the manual and everything, but that's kind of what they look like right there. And um, these are apparently like $180 brand new. So I listed them and they sold for full price for $110 plus shipping in the box. So this was a great little deal that um, I didn't have any money invested into and I'm still gonna profit probably about 60 or 70 bucks. Here we go, might as well grab these two. I sold these Brooks Adrenaline Sixes, right? These are a little bit of an older model, nines. Brooks Adrenaline Nines. I just accepted an offer of $39.99 plus shipping on these. Okay, this is a really fun one. I've sold a couple things like this before, but it's gonna be interesting to ship. Ugh. I sold this life-size leopard right here. It doesn't even wanna look at the camera. Like a Tiger King type of thing, I don't know. Um, I'm not into Tiger King, but if you are, I know it's a leopard, not a tiger, so you don't have to correct me in the comments section. I can't even get like a good, uh, a description on this but you know um i had it listed for 150 dollars because it is literally like full size it's i can't even get it all on camera um let me see if i can set it down this is a bin right here and you can see i got some shirts there this thing is laying over the entire bin it's crazy so i had it listed for 150 dollars. i picked this up at a garage sale i think i paid a dollar for it um, someone was just really wanting to get rid of it. Um, they said $1, so I took it and I listed it super high. It's been sitting for probably about four or five months, maybe a little longer. And uh, I ran a 30% off sale on anything that's been sitting on my store longer than, I think, four months. And uh, that was credit to Garage Flips or Shed Flips Lonnie, one of his channels, his video, he suggested doing that. And so I decided to try it. So this sold for $101.50. Okay, here they are, Jedi Search, Dark Apprentice, and Champions of the Force. I bought like um, like 12 or 13 of these in one of my last garage sale videos uh, before the uh, shutdown and stuff like that. And I think I paid about 30 cents a book. I was hoping they would be a little bit more rare than they were, but the condition wasn't that great. And uh, But I've been slowly selling them for like four or five bucks each. So I'm still kind of happy with that. This set, I think I sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Um, so this wasn't the greatest sale, but um, I'm just happy to be moving them since it wasn't a good purchase on my end. 
Okay, another pair of shoes, which I'm going to pull, but I'm not sure about what's going on, is these Nike Vapor Max here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I had a little bit of beef with these because I bought them from another guy on eBay for myself um, to try out because I really wanted a pair of Vapor Max. I won an auction on them, and they were disgustingly dirty on the bottom. They didn't look like they were cleaned or like he warm or something before he shipped them, and we kind of went back and forth. He ended up giving me like a $10 discount uh, refund, but he wasn't happy about it. Um, and he was like accusing me of a bunch of stuff. But anyway, they are size 10, but for some reason they're like way too big on me. I sold these for $130 or $125 plus shipping. So I won't pay any fees on these, but the buyer hasn't paid yet. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I really hope the buyer pays because I got an offer for them on Poshmark too, which I had to cancel because I technically already sold them on eBay. So I'd be really disappointed if I lost that sale. So hopefully the buyer pays. Okay, I sold this practice net right here. I've had this for a while. This was a thrift store pickup. I think I paid $4 for it. I don't think the tag is still on it because I took pictures of it, but um, you can like set it up in your backyard and practice golfing. And you don't have to chase all the balls. Um, I've had it for a little bit, so it was on sale and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. But I did sell a game, a really old game if it's in here. Uh, it's, I hope it's in here. All right, it's in my other storage unit. I was on top of that thing and there it is. It's Name That Country. And uh, it's just a weird game that I picked up in a garage sale for I think 25 cents. Um, just an interesting little vintage 1990s or something like that game. And a uh, pretty cool game, but uh, yeah, that one sold for $25.95 plus shipping on top. And someone is at their storage unit next to me, so that's my cute. All right, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna to try to do the rest of these pretty quick. I've sold these twice already and they get returned. I don't know why. Supposedly this little ribbon thing right here, people claim that it's loose. So I relisted them again and took very close pictures that that ribbon stripe on these Hoka One Ones was somewhat peeling and I just accepted an offer that came through for $40 plus shipping. And I got a pair of kids' shoes that sold, if I can find them. All my shoes got moved around, so might take me a sec. There they are. I sold these kids' Air Max 95s on Poshmark. So these were sold for $30 on Poshmark. I got these at Goodwill for $4.99. So a nice little flip there. And then I also sold... Okay, and then from the consignment deal I got from my buddy that I sold the G Defy shoes that I showed earlier, I sold these L.L. Bean slippers. They are brand new, never been worn. Let's see if I can give you guys a little show of them real quick. Just really nice, like, fur moccasin type boots and slippers. These sold for $40 plus shipping on eBay. All right, with eBay's new CEO, I hope this is something that gets fixed because it's really stressing me out. I sold this Disney Lion King figurine playing set. I've had this for a really long time, almost a year. And uh, this is early 90s, right here, mid early mid 90s when the movie came out. This is an original set, not a remake. Um, they are like $49 at Animal Kingdom or less for these. Um, this is brand new, never been opened. And uh, the box is a little damaged. I accepted a best offer of $50 free shipping on this, but the buyer hasn't paid. So I really hope they pay soon because I'm tired of non-payments. Yeah, I had to dig for this for a minute, but I sold a master's golf hat on Poshmark for $25 with a $2 discount shipping. Um, I had a guy that was interested in this and he made me an offer, then he declined the offer. And then he said he was still interested if I could discount shipping. So I did, I sent an offer to Likers cause we were already in a negotiation. So I couldn't bundle discount it in our negotiations and someone else stepped up and bought it before he did. So I'm not complaining, I still made a sale and uh, I offered the guy my other master's hat, he didn't want it. So nice little golf hat sale. I think I paid a dollar for this at a thrift store in one of my latest pickups. Okay, so this guy in the unit behind me right there is literally blasting music in his truck. So I can't even barely talk anymore, but I got um, the last thing right there at my storage unit and I will show you guys when I get home. I had a couple shirt sales as well. So let's get home and get printing. All right, this was a pretty cool sale. I'm happy to have this one sold. It is a bootleg polo sport sweatshirt 
and you can tell because there's a white tag underneath the polo tag um, that's not supposed to be there I think that's for like a Hanes or Fruit of the Loom or something like that um, and it says made in Mexico but then on the on the polo tag it says made in the USA but I sold this on Depop for $25 uh, which is a great little sale not complaining too much there so happy to move that because it's really the only platform I can sell bootleg on other than Instagram and I don't really have a big following for bootleg stuff on Instagram so I'm happy to get this one gone out of my bins bootlegs not really my thing and uh i don't know they're cool pieces but there's just really not a big market for them unless you have a huge following for them so i try to stay away from them typically but i got this at the bins it was like a dollar a dollar fifty so not too bad of a flip all right i'm gonna leave a little leopard leo the leopard over here hanging out while i'm doing my shipping because that one's gonna be last and it's gonna be the hardest i'm probably gonna have to go dumpster diving for a box to get it to fit nicely so we'll see what happens there but the last item that i sold was this um three stooges uh nyuk i don't know how you say it nyuk nook uh whatever this is curly uh it's from 1988 this was in a mystery box that i bought from an instagram influencer um and i accepted an offer on poshmark of 24 dollars um the three stooges is not like huge or crazy or anything like that so i had it listed for 30 so to sell it for 24 i'll make about 19 dollars 60 net on poshmark and i have about three or four dollars into each shirt from that mystery box so i mean not the greatest flip but i'm still moving clothing and it's selling and uh so i'm happy with that all right so now i'm going to get to shipping i'm going to get everything boxed up and packaged up and i'll show you guys what it all looks like at the end Okay, so here's something you may not know if you sell on multiple platforms or you're looking to sell on multiple platforms like Depop and Mercari, for example. If you offer free shipping and you select the ship on your own option, which means that Mercari or Depop is not creating the label for you and charging you for shipping uh, because you think you can get a better deal through Pirate Ship or something like that, then you have to add the tracking number inside of the app or the platform and update the shipping after you printed out the label. So for example, I just printed out this label on Mercari uh, and you can see there's a tracking number right there. I had to manually enter that in under the sale item on Mercari to let the buyer know that I have shipped the item. Mercari and Depop, if you offer free shipping and you ship on your own, for example, both the Polo Sport and the Tiva Sandals are going in the priority mail flat rate envelope. Uh, that's gonna be the cheapest option for me for shipping for those two items. So uh, you have to update the tracking information uh, on those two platforms. Okay, so for anyone wondering, the way that I'm going to ship this board game is I've wrapped it in bubble wrap a little bit, and I've got these USPS 1097 boxes. These are 11 by 2 by 13. These are like perfect for board games. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second one right here, and I'm going to slide it over this one, and then I'm going to tape it up, and that's going to be it. So here's what it looks like now. All right, and there it is. So all I did was slide this box into this one a little bit and then taped it up where the adhesive was. And I kind of did it on the corners too, just to help seal it and make sure, but that's it, pretty simple. And it's gonna go priority mail and it's gonna fit just perfectly. I mean, check that out. So now time to slap on the label. All right, here is a reseller pro tip. <laughs> Always check your boxes if you forget to pull off the Goodwill stickers because I almost just shipped this thing out with a $2.99 sticker on it. <laughs> That would have been really rough. So uh, make sure you pull your stickers off and always double check that kind of thing on your items that you buy at thrift stores. All right guys, so me and Leo are gonna go find a box now for him to get to his new owner safely. And I just wanna share with you how much the buyer paid in shipping for this uh, before I end this video. Okay, I can't show the other side because it's gonna have the buyer's information on it, which I don't wanna do, but you can see right here, the buyer paid $105 for the Big Cat Leopard, and it sold for two, or with shipping, the buyer was all in at 266.35, which means the buyer paid $139.65 for shipping, which is absolutely insane, guys. It's crazy, but I am happy that it's gonna to go to a good home, and uh, hopefully they love it. All right, here's the box for the leopard, cheetah, tiger, whatever you want to call it. Just kind of boxed it up, 
folded up the paws and the tail a little bit and that's what we have there's asher so you can see the size comparison so yep we're ready to go all right so that's going to do it for this video guys i got all my packages here and here and then i've got a couple of the non-payments still waiting which is really crazy it's driving me insane i want to get paid i want to get the money and i want to get the item shipped so hopefully those come in today and i can ship them out as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and uh, i will see you on the next one peace money